Final Cut Pro has a ton of little hidden features and tricks that even some of the most experienced video editors don't know about. So hit that like button as soon as you learn a new one. Also, keep track of how many of these seven quick Final Cut Pro tricks or hacks you didn't know about and let me know in the comments down below. I'm sure at least one of them is going to blow your mind. Trick or hack number one has to do with the draw mask. The draw mask is a super handy tool that helps you isolate objects in your scene and I often use it to create mask wipe transitions. And if you've ever done a mask wipe transition before, you'll know that you need to do a lot of keyframing, sometimes even frame by frame. What you might not know is that you can click and drag on the outside of the mask to lasso multiple control points to move them at the same time. And you can click on the inside of a mask to move all of the control points together. Bear in mind though, that if you are keyframing, you need to also add a keyframe to the position parameter of the draw mask effect and not just the control points. Final Cut Pro trick number two is all about fine audio adjustments. If you have ever tried to change the volume of a clip, you might have found that the volume changes too quickly and you can't get it exactly where you want it. Of course, you can always type it in in the inspector window, but we're trying to save some time here. Instead, you can click and hold on the audio volume line of the clip and then hold down the magic command key and then when you make a volume change, it changes in finer increments. The third trick is the tilde key. This key has a lot of uses, but there is one way in which I use it the most. Let's say you have a couple of video and audio clips connected to this clip. You can see that they're connected here by this tiny little line and you want to do a slip edit using the trim tool, which changes the in and out point of a clip, but the duration stays the same. You'll notice that all the connected clips move as I slip this clip backwards and forwards. If I wanted to keep those in place while slipping the clip, I can make sure that the trim tool is selected using the shortcut T, hold down the tilde key and then slip the clip. Notice how these connected clips stay put. Like I said, there are a bunch of different ways to use the tilde key, so if you want to see a dedicated video on that, let me know. The fourth trick on this list is to reset specific color wheel parameters. Let's say you've tried to color grade a clip and you're not quite happy with how it turned out. You want to try again, but you also don't want to reset the color wheels totally to start from scratch. You can just reset the highlights, for example, by clicking here. But what if you just want to reset the saturation, the color tint, or the brightness of the highlights to its default position? All you need to do is double click on either the color puck or saturation and brightness sliders to reset them. So if you've made a bunch of changes and you decide that you don't like the color tint you've added to the highlights, you can just reset that by double clicking on it. Have you been keeping track of how many of these Final Cut Pro tricks you already knew or just learned about now? Good. Just hey, so you know... It's time. Sorry, what? It's time to do the thing. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll be right back. Just a quick thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you don't already know, Skillshare is an online learning community and it's a great place to learn new skills. You might know that I have a Skillshare course on the basics of Final Cut Pro, which goes over everything from how to manage your projects and library to the different editing tools and windows, transitions, effects, audio basics, and even a few more advanced topics like keyframing and effects. But there are loads of other Final Cut Pro courses on Skillshare as well. Maybe you want to explore a new skill that will complement your editing in Final Cut Pro, like learning how to shoot with your iPhone or learning 3D animation. Or maybe you want to learn about something totally unrelated, like pottery. Skillshare has loads of great informative courses for you to choose from. And I recently watched Marquez Brownlee's course, YouTube Success, Script Shoot and Edit with MKBHD, which was jam packed with information. And I'll be applying a lot of what I learned in my future videos. The great thing about Skillshare is that the courses are ad free, so you can stay in the zone while learning new skills and new classes are added each week, so there's always something new to learn. The first 1000 people to use the link in the description down below or to use the code Brad and Donna will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. You can use that free month to check out my Final Cut Pro course, to watch a ton of other Final Cut Pro courses or to explore totally new skills. I'd highly recommend grabbing that free month while you can. Okay, I'm done here, you can carry on. Thanks. Back to the hacks with number five, maximize the inspector window. Some plugins have a ton of parameters and often you find yourself scrolling for days to get to the bottom of it, only to go and make an edit change to come back and have to scroll all over again. 
To avoid this, simply double click on the top of your inspector window, which will then fill to the height of your screen. Trick number six is all about quick, fast audio crossfades. If you have interview or talking head footage that you've cut up like I have here, you might hear some of these hard cuts with little clicks or pops, ungraded and the graded footage. I was able to use the wipe. You can smooth these out super easily by selecting the clips and hitting Alt T. That will create tiny little crossfades like this. If I hit Ctrl S to expand the audio, you can see how each clip has been extended just a little bit to create the crossfade. You can obviously adjust these if you need to, but it's a nice quick way to smooth out the audio cuts in your footage. Ungraded and the graded footage. I was able to use the wipe transition. It's important to note that you need version 10.4.9 or later of Final Cut Pro for this feature. The final trick, trick number seven, is to change clip connection points. Like having clips connected to the clip on the primary storyline and using the tilde key to move it independently, if you want to edit a clip that has connected clips, like deleting this clip while keeping all these connected clips in place, you can hit shift backspace and it will delete the clip and leave a gap. But what if you don't want the gap? You can hold down Alt and Command and click on the clip to change the connection point. So we can change these connection points to somewhere over here on this clip and then if we delete this first clip, we don't lose all the connected clips because they are connected to the second clip. Okay, bonus tip for you diehards that stuck around and made it this far, which is the full timeline zoom trick. You are probably familiar with the command minus and command plus keyboard shortcuts to zoom in and out of your timeline, but if you want to see your entire timeline quickly, you can simply hit shift Z and that will zoom out to fit your whole timeline on the screen. Also, you can zoom in again using Command Plus and you can hit that a few times to get to the exact part of the edit that you need to see up close. Or I'll just hit Shift Z again here to zoom out. Or you can hit the shortcut Z to activate the zoom tool and then you can click and drag to zoom straight into that selection. Those are my seven quick Final Cut Pro tricks and a bonus trick and hopefully at least one of them blew your mind. Don't forget to click the link down below to claim your free month of Skillshare and if you like these tricks, you might enjoy this video on seven hidden features in Final Cut Pro. So go ahead and check that out.